Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you some work in progress of Play, a PS2 emulator for Vision 5.2, it says here, but the developer has been busy and it's also working on the Litchi Pi or the Litchi console. And potentially this will also work on some more RISC-V devices. Um, so here you have the link to his GitHub page. And if we look at his GitHub page, then uh, you have to have uh, Qt and you can build it yourself or you can download uh, a pre-built package. So if you want to build it yourself, uh, you can go to this GitHub page. And um, yeah, here they explain uh, how to get the source code. And you also need to apply some patches. And here also all the commands for all the packages that you need to install to be able to build it. It's quite a lot. Uh, yeah, it's a bit weird because uh, in my opinion, with GitHub, um, I would expect that they would have uh, applied these patches already on the source code. But yeah, for some reason, that's something you have to do yourself. Um, yeah, so you can extract the package with the source code. And then you need to have uh, a patch directory on the same level where you extracted the source code. And yeah, I don't know if there's an easy way to download the patches, but what I did is just, you can click on one of them and then you can download them and put them in the patch directory on your local machine. So once you have all those patch files, and that's when you can execute uh, these lines to apply the patches. But you can also uh, work with the uh, pre-built package. So, yeah, as sort of getting the expectations right at this point in time, uh, don't expect that you're able to play PlayStation 2 games. Um, but at least for me, it's, it's too slow at this point in time. And also when we look at the updates here, um, Yeah, I, the developer hopes that he can improve performance with uh, vector instructions because the Litchi Pi has support for vector and unfortunately the Vision 5.2 doesn't. So from that perspective, I don't think that the Vision 5.2 will ever be fast enough to be able to emulate PlayStation 2 uh, at full speed. And yeah, I do hope that it is possible on the Litchi Pi. Um, but I guess, yeah, it, it will take a lot of effort uh, to get there and also that we get some proper GPU drivers. Um, yeah, so one of the things is, is that uh, I'm not going to show you 
uh, how to build things exactly uh, because you can actually uh, download uh, the packages um, yeah so here's the link to the packages so this is for the litchi pi and also one for the vision 5 2 and um yeah for the people that are interested in this that still want to see this i'll put some uh chapters in the video with the uh, time markers so uh, i'm going to show you as it is so some of the things will just take time but if you uh, just want to see the results then just use the chapters in this youtube video so uh, i downloaded that package play.2 because i have a litchi console when you extract it you get this executable so when we start this um yeah the advantage of play is that you don't need a playstation 2 bias file so you only need a game file and in my case um, i used final fantasy 10 and uh, if you've booted this one before then it will show up here so let's try to start it and like i said um, it's not fast and if you um, don't want to see the actual performance and just want to see results uh, you have to use the uh, chapters And perhaps if someone has a Milk 5 Pioneer, which is a 64 core Risk 5 computer, um, and I think they ship them with AMD graphics cards, um, perhaps that is fast enough. But um, I think for now it's very positive to see that it can actually boot games. Uh, again don't expect to play them but this is work in progress and hopefully at some point in time we'll get uh, support for vector instructions and hopefully also a proper gpu driver so yeah on a 1080p monitor then um, what I notice is that for some reason uh, it doesn't always uh, update the screen properly it does update it properly uh, when you're just playing on the screen of the litchi console itself uh, perhaps you hear the stutter of the audio so it really has a hard time to keep up not really sure when when we actually get to see something um i've tried this before and uh, at some point i actually did see something Here we have something. So yeah, these graphical glitches. Um, 
I have the suspicion that this caused that we don't have proper OpenGL 3 support because this is also what I saw on the Raspberry Pi 5 when we tried OpenGL um, but on the Raspberry Pi 4 and 5 the advantage is, is that nowadays you also have a Falcon support and with Falcon support it is uh, a lot better and on a Raspberry Pi 5 um, yeah it looks like with Falcon you can actually play uh, PlayStation 2 games so um, again th this isn't really uh, playable and you see also uh, some graphical glitches so I'm going to stop this here um, still I wanted to make a video about this um, just trying to attract more people to try this to perhaps if you are a developer perhaps you can try to help the developer verbal function and um, yeah for me personally the milk 5 pioneer that one was a bit too expensive for me um, but I do hope that let's just say in the summer that we get the milk 5 oasis which is a 16 core risk 5 computer 12 performance cores four efficiency cores and also a better gpu than what we have for the litchi pi um yeah hopefully the developer will have some time to do some more updates to the code. Um, I think one of the most important things, at least for Litchi Pi or Litchi Console users, is support for vector instructions. And the other thing again is a proper GPU driver. So this was just to show you some work in progress on Play, the PlayStation 2 emulator on risk 5 so that's all for now and i hope to see you again in my next video